surgery done today. How do you feel, babe? I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Check off all my jewelry. I just put on baggy clothes because you basically take off your clothes right when you get there and put on a little gown anyway. And then I just washed my hair and I just put it in a low bun so I could be comfortable. But I just, I'm dreading it. I really am dreading it. I have like a pit in my stomach right now. The last time we were here, we left this place on a sad note. We were here, we pretty much lived in a room just like this for four weeks as we went through the IVF process. But we're gonna get the surgery and then um, hopefully come back here maybe in a month, two months, whenever, to do round two of IVF. So fingers crossed that that works out. But guys, I need a lot of comments for Bella. A lot of good vibes, a lot of positivity, lots of prayers. Drop a comment below, we love reading them. Hype Bella up, okay? This is gonna be good. We're gonna end out this year with a pregnant, Bella, we're gonna have baby Della. We're going in, it's time. You're gonna do awesome, babe. I'm proud of you. You're gonna do good, okay? Uh, why do I feel like this? I don't know. You're Maybe gonna because be I haven't right. slept and I haven't eaten and drank anything. I remember this room all too well. Me too. I hate this room. I hate this room. Babe, you're gonna do good. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Those are your dad's shoes. I told you they're cute. This girl wears them too. I just watched Singing in the Rain on the plane, so that was the first song that came to my head. What were you singing in that day? Back to your feet. <laughs> now it's time for the surgery. You're gonna do awesome. Now the worst part, getting the IV. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I literally just got like the worst text possible. That was so scary. I'll put it right here on the screen. But Bella started like texting help 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 I'm gonna pass out and I was like oh crap like this is bad and then she called me and I was literally listening on the phone so I went and told the front desk I was like hey like she's gonna pass out and then oh I don't know that was really scary Bella what happened? You okay? Yeah. You scared me so bad. I just passed out while I was trying to change for the surgery. I'm like white as a ghost right now. I'm so out of it. Why does this happen to me every single time? I'm really pale, so pale, and I'm shaking out of control. I don't know why I get low blood pressure every time I get the pressure on. And the nurses all came running. Oh, I finally just got changed, and they're gonna give me an IV. I feel so dehydrated, I'm so excited. I never thought I would say I'm excited to get an IV, but I think this is gonna really help me. I could be brave, I could do this. I'd be some of the worst fear, but honestly, at this point, I'm just like ready to get the IV because I should not feel good. After passing out. Normally they bring you like apple juice and a cracker, but I can't eat before my surgery. I haven't eaten in 12 hours. Chilling, getting they just told me that I have to get two 
two IV bags before I could go do my surgery because of my low blood pressure and because I passed out. So I'm gonna be here for a while. That's good. This video is sponsored by this brand. I'm so out of it, but apparently things weren't really good. They just took my blood again. And then I have an IV. I honestly can't even think straight right now. I can barely keep my eyes open. This is a mixture of jet lag and... Yes, How do you feel? Yeah. Sit down by me. How do you feel? I'm so out of it. Yeah? You feel okay? Mm -hmm. You did good? That yeah. phone call scared me so bad. <laughs> we gotta go talk to the doctor. We yeah. got some big decisions to I make. I can like barely talk. I'm so tired. You wanna go? Alright, we made it back to the room. The surgery went really well. Bella, how you feeling back there? I'm exhausted. <laughs> she says she's exhausted. Yeah, it's been just a really wild day. Anyway though, after the surgery, the doctor pulled us into the office and he gave us really big news. And it was kind of like, I don't know, I was kind of like, what is going on right now? We were expecting just to come here and to get the surgery, but then he gave us this big news. So Bella and I have a decision to make, and so we're gonna talk it over, try and figure out some stuff. Hate to do this to you guys, but I think I'm gonna end this video right here on a cliffhanger. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We'll share all about this news and, uh, and this decision we have to make. And uh, once we get some sleep, get some food in our system, I think we'll be able to talk with you guys a little more and uh, be able to think. So anyway, we seriously appreciate you guys. We love all of you. Thank you so much for all the comments, all the prayers, all the likes. It really means a lot to us. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Yes, you shall.